Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox video and today we're going to be checking out another one of your guys' solar systems. So we've got the system today is from the user to Toenail in Discord so massive thank you to them for sending in their simulation and their system is called Vulcan a Red Dwarf. So it uh, should be here, yeah Vulcan a Red Dwarf. Right, let's check it out. Where has it gone? There you go, right. The picture on this one looked pretty cool so let's see what we've got. Oh, taking a while to load. That usually uh, means it's got to be a lot of stuff. Right, hello. The Vulcan Star System. You know, a lot of people like to make uh, Vulcan systems, don't they? The, the name Vulcan has got a popular one for custom systems. Right. The Vulcan Star System. Welcome to the Star System. This system is around a red dwarf and has many objects. 91 to be exact, excluding rings. Don't unpause until you have seen every written down object. Okay, so the star itself, Vulcan. A red dwarf that formed in the sun's supernova and has attained a very massive system. It is said that it lets out extremely dangerous solar flares, hence the name Vulcan. Okay. Right, first of the planets. So we've got AC over here. And then we've got the other one, Cernu. These are separate planets who have a closer star, they are water worlds. Some people call them twins of the oceans, but in this system, it is used as a tourist attraction. Okay, so we've got that one there, and then it's sister planet very close by. Again, very similar in appearance. Looking good. Right, next up we have got uh, Reapy, Reapy. A dwarf planet that is light in colour and extremely hot. Let's turn that off. Um, it is so hot that it is burning away material, hence a small trail behind it, which you can see there if you look very carefully. You can see a slight material loss there. Alright, next up we've got come Nate Nust. Looks quite nice with the thick uh, clouds on the water well there. A water world with some beautiful light purple rings. It also has a tourist attraction, but it's humid like crazy. There is oh, there, hence the many clouds. Cool. Now you see the purple rings. It's looking cool. Nice lidden. Next up, we've got Nuskiski over here. A desert world which has many clouds for some unknown reason, but it is very hot, although it isn't in the simulation. It has a small moon matter. There, oh, the matter is there. There you go. Cool. Oh, it means the temperature's not in the simulation, I'm guessing, but there it is. A very deserty world. Looking good. Right, next up, we have got Cus P over here. A very cold desert planet, although it isn't in the simulation. Wait, what? Well, it's there. Does he just mean the temperature's not in the simulation? I mean, that, yeah, he must mean the temperature. Yeah, right. Um, which is also, for some unknown reason, has many clouds, which is very sandy. Well, in my guess, it'd be a dust storm like Mars with the clouds, wouldn't it? You know, could be a bit of dust flying around. But there you go. Looking good. Right, next up, we've got uh, Kanasta. It's a green gas giant, which has small rings because its other moons that were too far out not to be shredded was taken by the star and eaten. <laughs> its other moons were shredded into rings. There you go. Very nice green and black appearance there. Look at those very small little rings it's got going on there. Nice. Uh, Ataski, Atasai. The only life in the system. The Atasians live a very peaceful life but don't have much water. So that's over here. Has one moon named Morosk. Uh, it doesn't have a lot of water, does it? Yeah. Valuable resource. So we'll look underneath. Where are we? Uh, oh yeah, we're in a different version. Thing. Right, there you go. Cool. And it's moon here. Very nicely done. Next up, we got uh, Gralate. Although it has a beautiful outside, it's very toxic inside with lakes of acid and toxic gas mixed with glass. Um, it has two moons, Rerido and Morusk. Okay. Cool. So there they are there. Looking good. Nicely done. Next up we got uh, Cus Tuna. Tua. A very cold desert dwarf planet that doesn't have uh, much notable info because of its lack of anything interesting. So there it is there. Next up we've got Arnus Tusk, the biggest of the planet of the system. I think this was the one that was on the thumbnail of this system. Yeah, there it is. So looks nice, lid in. Yeah, look at all those rings. Very cool. All right, so 
Has a pinkish colour with a black top and bottom with some beautiful light pink and red rings. Very nice. Okay. Next up we've got Let Turk. It's the biggest gas giant in the system. It has a uh, beige and blue colour as well as five moons. Atiri, Akka, Jinditia, Une and Iov. Iov. So the moons. Have a quick look at those guys. Loop in there. Let's see the other ones. So we've got a more red one. We've got Yune over here. And then Aov in the green. Okay. There you are. Looks up like we've got this one here. Or or have we? Hang on. So we did we just did letter, didn't we? Ah, uh, Aromata. A barren yellow dwarf. So where's that? Oh there it is, yeah, got ya. Cool. That does not have multiple info on it. Okay. Right, now we have Turkin, which is here. A barren green dwarf planet that has mining sites at Emerald. It has four moons. Okay, it's tilted on its side as well by the looks of it. So there's the planet itself. Some mining colony there. Just going to make the screen a little bigger for those guys. There we are. These are all minor asteroids. As you can see, all customised, so very nice. Cool. Right, next up we got a uh, Steinu, a yellow and white gas giant. So over here. That has aerial colonies and some Atassians live on this planet. It has five moons as well. Cool. So let's have a quick peek at those guys there. See if there's any interest in this. So this one looks pretty cool. Getting quite dark from the star as well now. How far about so are we? Have to look in a sec. So they are. So the planet itself is sitting. Oh, it's only around a red dwarf star there, remember? So that's why it's not that luminous. So these objects are fairly packed close together. It's only 1.56 AU away. So they are very closely packed, these guys. Right, next up we have got Hades. So the red, looking pretty spooky. The god of the under... Oh, wow. That's pretty cool. Well, if, that, if you press play and that runs, that would be pretty cool. So it's an extremely dark, rocky world, as we can see. Error recording. Hades is a normally in the system and has spiral wings like a galaxy and is said to be a home to the Reaper of the Dead. Well, that's somewhere you don't want to go. Oh, yeah. Very mysterious. That is proper spooky. <laughs> cool. Right, next up, we've got Arena Ski over here. We're taking a big jump out now. The biggest rocky planet in the system. It has brown and has thick clouds making an interesting pattern on the exterior. It has two moons, ton, and orsa plaques. Uh, we'll go on to flashlight mode now because we can't actually see... Uh, what we're looking at. A directional light, there you go. That works. We've got Tinnus Tun here. Looks like the texture of Io, looking good. Got the moon here as well. Alright, next up we've got Fitness the same, except no moons and very small. Over here. Cool. This one, a barren rock with snowy peaks and some craters. This planet is home to a variety of different bugs like witch flies and fur bugs. Very snowy looking. But again, these are all in pitch black at this distance from the Red Dwarf. And we've got Urkurinuri over here. A very blue coloured planet with thick clouds as well. Nothing else ha um, has been noted about this planet. Cool. Right, now we've got Aura Packs. A white and caramel coloured gas giant. It has a very toxic atmosphere and one moon. There you go. Looking good. There's the moon down here. So in the depths of the system. Right, next up we've got another spooky looking world here. Faithon. Oh, red like the Hades. Right. Error recoding. It's the opposite of Hades with red clouds and a black surface. Unlike Hades, it has a moon cobra. It's got city lights on it. Oh, that's pretty spooky. Who's living out there then? Okay, right. Next up we've got Bonk. Oh, no, don't click on the rings. A blue and icy dwarf planet past the last Asher belt. It is home to many related microorganisms. Next we've got Munus Tun. A dwarf planet with rings like Quarkor. It is a barren greenish yellow rock. So that's here. 
So we're in the very depths of the system. So as the Red Dwarf can hold on to all of this, some of this could just break up. So there you go. Next up, we've got more. There's a lot of objects in here for a Red Dwarf system. This is pretty well built. Uh, we've got Mora, a dwarf planet that has one thermal colored surface and one moon. There you go. Now we're heading to. Uh, where are we? So, Horta. Still more going down. Oh my gosh. Right. A mint colored dwarf planet with uh, a layer of ice under the surface it has three moons. Get them up there. One, two, three. Then we got Tish. Not much is known about this gas giant, but we didn't count it as the largest gas giant as it was captured as three moons. So there it is there. And there's something called Mothership. Let's see. Oh, let's have a look in that. Right, there you go. So another rogue gas giant. I mean, how much mass does this guy have? Four Jupiters. That would break away from that Red Dwarf at that distance, I reckon. Uh, how that's holding on. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe it would. Maybe it would. Mm. Right. Unknown object. Mothership. What is this, then? Right. Hello. Aha. Oh, wow. Unknown satellite. Oh, wow. Okay. So surrounded by a lot of satellites. Some very weird thing. Has apparently appeared over the period of the last few years. The answer may lie in the Brown Dwarf system... Herpacitus. Okay, right. So there's like a second system in here then? Right, where are we? So, visit that. So there's a rogue brown dwarf chilling out here then. Ah, ah, okay. So, all the way over here. So there's the answer lies here. The orig origin. Right. A massive brown dwarf housing two astral boats and many satellites. So, Raticino here. A barren rock form of the brown dwarf itself. Cool. Uh, Kuno, okay. That looks cool. A desert, for some reason, is not actually hot. Not to the simulation. This desert has many volcanoes third formed. Okay. Next up, we've got Curio. I've seen some similar names here. I think he's, they're, all, they're all the default names, aren't they? Um, a, a very icy planet with cryovolcanoes. This planet was the first one formed out of all of them. Cool. Then we got Oropax here. A toxic world filled with methane gas in the atmosphere. The second form. That's quite a nice... I really like the way that looks, actually. That's really, really cool. I really like the design of that. Okay. Then we got Yubane. The only gas giant in this part of the system. Well, being the most massive object other than the the gas or the brown dwarf. This object was form sixth. It has four moons. Okay. We've seen Bonk before. Yeah, there's the same... The, the universe sandwich doesn't have enough default names. <laughs> so there you go. Cool. Right, we've got Fawn over here. Another barren rock, but the sick form, and barren rock has a moon, Turvanax. There it is, looking good. We've got one called Minara over here. Okay, so the seventh form, just a barren rock. Right, and then what is this? So we've done Fawn. Space fold objects. That's similar to that mothership there. There's another one of these. There's two of them. Stabilizer satellites. This anomaly has no information on it, but I believe the mothership came from this um, item. There are many stabilizers which indicate it might be a space fold, which is an anomaly that allows people to travel faster and very quickly. It must be important to have all of these stabilizers. Interesting. Something going on in these uh, two systems here. And there we are. So that is the end of the description. So again, a massive thank you to the user uh, Toenail for uh, sending this in. That was interesting. I like the mother shit. I always like it when people throw in like little secrets like that. You know, these weird unidentified objects they're always uh, they're always pretty fascinating to me so very very nice indeed hope you guys all enjoyed this system as well let us know your thoughts and bullions down below in the comments if you enjoyed this video let's see if we can go for 200 likes on today's video guys it really really helps out the channel and um, also subscribe for more helps in the journey to 40,000 subscribers if you haven't already but with that all said and done hope you all enjoyed this video like i said make sure you have a great day stay safe out there and i'll see you in the next video goodbye